Hey, it's David here, and uh, this morning we're going to be fishing with Super Frog. It's Man's Super Frog. And I uh, picked this up at Walmart. It's about $5, and uh, we're just going to see how it works. The uh, main thing I, I noticed, other than just the features of the frog, is that it's a few dollars cheaper than most of the other frogs out there. I've been using a Booyah frog uh, most of the time, but uh, we're going to try this Man's Super Frog here at uh, Baldwin Lake, Florida. So I, uh, the frog doesn't have as much action, but I'll take that back. I'm, I'm probably using the wrong words. It, it's a very soft body frog. It fills up with water rather quickly, and, uh, and then it, I, I believe it kind of loses what the booyah frog, some of the other frogs offer, but I'm going to change location too. I picked a pretty um, just dull spot, and uh, so we're going to figure out maybe there's some grassy area. We can try Man's. To uh, frog that I uh, did in the intro. Here's what I noticed. I probably didn't pick the best place uh, to fish. It's the first time I'm at Baldwin, but I decided just to jump into a pocket. Didn't really do much research. Just jump into a spot that's free, uh, but somewhat secluded. Throw the frog a bit. No bites. Uh, um, I wouldn't blame it on the frog yet, but the frog does lack the action I'm used to seeing out of the booyah and some of the other frogs that you can find. And then uh, it does fill up with water consistently, so you got to kind of squeeze that out. But other than that, I mean, I like the presentation. Day two, we'll see what using we get. Man's Super Frog. Just doing a review. I'm checking out the comparison to Booyah frogs. That's the frog I've been using. Get great action. Uh, gets pretty good hookups, but a lot of a lot of fish. That's my go-to frog. If I ever want to test out a lake or, or it's a hot day out, or lily pads, I'm throwing the Booyah frog. I know I'm not going to get too many hookups. I'm going to lose some fish, but still great to see that top water blow up. And uh, it's been a solid frog. Now, man, super frog. It's it's just a couple dollars cheaper. It looks good. It's soft. It's big, uh, big bait, big fish. And so I'm excited to try it out. I went to Lake Baldwin here in Florida, and I didn't really get any success. But I'm going to blame that on me before I condemn this frog. I want to see if it's any good. So day two, I'm going to my frog spot. Now, this is a spot where I don't throw anything but frogs, and I'm always hooking up on bass. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Keep your whites wider with Sun Bum 50 SBF. We're on the lake. We're gonna try this out. Got some good pads, and uh, this is just where I get all my frog, my frog bass hookups. So we're gonna try this out. So I threw a couple times. I found a pocket. Um, obviously, it just it, it just took the skirt. Here's one thing I'm finding with the soft frog is it's such a soft body. Um, I keep moving these hooks. I have to keep moving these hooks around to get it to not lob to one side. I'll show you close up later, but um, it, it got a strike. I could tell I landed on the fish. So I just kind of finesse, pop. Fish got it, but he didn't choke it. I think I've splashed around in this area a little too much. So here's here's a review so far is that it lands on the lily pads nicely. It's just nice. And then you pulled off the pads. These hooks do like to set into the pads, but every frog is going to be like that. But I'm going to move to another pocket just because I this lands hard. If you don't land it where you want it, it's a cannonball. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen, cannonball! Um, so I'm gonna move over. This is how this lake works. You cast one area, walk over to the next, 10 minutes later, come back. Uh, you just gotta keep moving and, and you'll hook up fast. So I'm gonna have to play around in the lily pads on this one. So I didn't wanna lose my frogs. I'm not using a braided line. 
usual, but uh, it's almost time to go and we got nothing to show for it, so. All right, so not working as well as I'd want it to. Just doesn't give me much action in the water. It, it's like fishing with a, a clumsy, clumsy frog. And it doesn't even dance through the lilies okay. It just kind of drags itself along. Um, sure, maybe it's user error, but it's just, I've used the booyahs, and even when the bite's tough, um, you can still get some topwater action, get something slamming on it. Just nothing here today. Let's, uh, I'm gonna switch out to a dinger, um, a yum bait. It's, a, it's my go-to bait. Tell me, hey, is it really fish in here? Um, is it my lure? Is it me? It's my go-to kind of lure uh, to get some bass. So let's see. Just a, a yum dinger. This is the blue one. I'm sure there's a better name for it, but blue. All right, and uh, I don't really have it set up for success as far as these lily goes. I might find myself fighting it, but if there's bass in there, I think it's going to get hit before it hits the ground. So uh, let's see what we get. Just a dink, but it, it's still fun. Right there in the corner of the mouth. That's on the yum dingers, that's what you'll get. These little small ones. It's the only one I can winch out of the weeds with this mono line. Right, so here's our frog. Um, overall, compared, it wasn't normally a comparison to Booyah, but I'm gonna let you know I use the Booyah frogs. They're a couple dollars more. Um, but the Booyahs work better. This, this frog, I think one of the main benefits it casts really well. If you got a, a bait caster reel, it casts really good. It lands really heavy. You can see that hook. Got my son in the back down there. See this hook there? It, it'll dig into the side, and then you got this other one, not so much. I mean, these hooks move a lot as you work it. Soft body frog, and these hooks can go everywhere. You'll find it, you know, just all over the place. Let's try to get that light out. But, um,. I don't know where to go with this. Overall, would I buy it again? Would I use it again? No. Would I put it on my son's reel, his four-year-old, and let him, um, you know, see what he comes up with? Yes, because it's surprisingly heavy, and it casts really well, and you could if you wanted. I mean, if I'm going to let him use it, I'm probably going to pinch these hooks in a bit and stick it through the side, just really stick it in there. It'll help me feel better about him, you know, casting something with the hook, but I'm sure if something were to really attack this aggressively, that hook comes right back out. So, overall, do I like it? No. Uh, that I try it at a lake that is my go-to for frog lures to, and always hook up on bass? Yeah. Was I surprised I didn't catch anything on the frog? Yeah. Um, but that's it. I threw a couple of dingers in there, um, wacky style, and hooked up on some bass, and the bass are there, they just weren't striking at this frog. I used a smaller frog, got a couple blow ups, but nothing on video. But, anyways, there you go. Hello, Friday. I've been waiting for you for a long time. You just saved me. When my life came crumbling down, and I know you're gonna leave me. Hello, Friday. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Hey. Yeah, look at John, baby. Yeah, brighter than this thing on my own, baby. It's a party every time you come around, baby. Now, if you're down, baby.